Hi guys, how you going? Haven't uh, done a video for a little while. Um, some of you might be aware from my Facebook page. I've actually been away travelling for a few months. So this is my first video that I'm doing uh, after coming back from travelling. I um, actually spent a few months going around Asia with my wife. Um, well, new wife. We actually got married and then went travelling. So um, yeah, it was a bit of an experience. But um, now I'm back and, and it's back to business. So I've been back a few weeks now, um, haven't really got around to doing a video, I have been doing a bit of hobby, um, just kind of getting back into the swings of things for myself, um, enjoying a couple of little projects that I'm working on for my own armies, um, rather than sort of jumping back into the videos and, and other people's work and and that sort of thing, just, just enjoying myself. So I just today, I just want to show you what I'm currently working on um, and then I'm going to do a couple of separate videos um, on some new things that I've got. I've got um, a couple of unboxings that I can show you um, that I haven't actually looked at myself yet um, and I've got a, a few new products that I picked up along the way on my travels so we'll go through a couple of those as well. So first off I'll show you sort of what we're working on at the moment on the desk okay so First one that um, is literally um, just built and primed at the moment is my Sons of Horus Contemptor. Now, this is actually going to be painted up for my Black Legion army. Um, Black Legion that's got quite a strong contingent of Nurgle. So this one is going to be Black Legion. Now, this is my first... Legion specific contemptor. I've got a few of the relic contemptors and I've got a few of the normal plane contemptors that I've that I've painted up for different things. I've got about four of them in my Astral Claws army. But this is my first Legion specific and I am very impressed. The detail on these things is absolutely incredible. And the way that they've they've really made them work for that specific Legion. I mean if I bring this in, we can focus a little bit on it for you. I mean, these details are absolutely incredible. The thing is as well with obviously all the different weapon arms, you can really get something to suit these. So I've gone obviously with the with the claws rather than rather than just the normal fists. We've got the claws on there with the little plasma blasters inside. Um, and now with the new Lost and the Damned book from Forge World, which I've also picked up. Uh, you can you can use these now in a normal Chaos Army, uh, 40k approved stamp and everything. You can also use the plasma blasters now. From what I can tell, in my normal uh, Space Marines vehicles of the Space Marines um, Imperial Armor book, you can't take the plasma blasters for the normal Contemptor, it's only a Chaos option. Now, they're an 18 inch Assault 2 Strength 7 AP2 weapon, so basically, I've got two of these on here, that's four 18 inch Plasma shots. It's, it's not to be sort of sneezed at, you know, it's, that's a good, good solid armament, as well as having the two Power Fists for the close combat. Now these things, most of you will probably know, get them in close combat with, with a light armoured tank, say a Predator or something like that, they'll literally tear it apart. So fantastic. The model is beautiful. As always with the with the contemptors, the posing is just however you want it. There there's so so many so many joints in these. You can literally have these how you want it. So I've got this guy sort of full sprint, um almost almost as if he's round in a corner um whilst taking a shot. So yeah, I mean, absolutely beautiful models, absolutely beautiful. Obviously, the heads are different for these as well, so I haven't attached the head because this will be painted separate just so I can get into the eyes and get the extra detail on there, but, I mean, look at that. Little slits where the eyes have sort of got cuts on them and extra plating, they're just absolutely brilliant little models. So, that's one thing we've got on the desk at the moment, that's built and primed. Now, next thing which needs to be started again um, due to my haste is Chaos Decimator Engine. 
now as you can see on this I put the butcher cannon and the uh, and the siege claw siege claw on these is quite cool because it's um, as well as obviously acting as a power power claw um, close combat weapon for a dreadnought uh, it's also got a built in heavy flamer that if you're in close combat with a vehicle and you make a, I think, I can't remember if it's a glancing or a penetrating, I would have to look that up. Any any troops that that, that vehicle is carrying take a flamer hit. So it basically penetrates the hull and flames everything inside, which is absolutely amazing. These things as well, I mean, Mark of Nurgle on these things, give it, it will not die. They're really really tough to kill really tough to kill they've got some really good rules of their own unholy vigor um they've a couple of others that basically mean if it dies you roll a six and it comes back to life with d3 hull points so it could just come back to life as it started they're they're a bit of a beast now this again is going to be painted up for my black legion at the moment i've primed it it's got some very dark silver on from the new um, the new game air range from Vallejo. Um, so I think it's gunmetal, which is the really dark silver. Um, this one, I want it to be quite worn. Quite, I mean, my Black Legion are all going to be quite sort of um, rugged and, and worn out. So at the moment, that's the idea. It could turn out completely opposite, but at the moment, that's the idea. Now, the detail on these, again... You can see with the shoulder pads off, all the wiring. Now there is some work that I need to do here to get rid of these mould lines that wasn't the best of moulds to be honest with you. Um, but there's nothing major, nothing that can't be fixed. Now you see all the wiring on these, on the legs. Again, beautiful models, beautiful models. Um, shoulder pads. This one you can see, I was a little bit hasty. Uh, put done all the brown rust up, put my chipping fluid on, put my black on, went to scrub it and realised I hadn't washed it well enough so it's just gone straight back to the resin so it will need either stripping and repainting or if I can get away with just spraying over the top and starting again I'll have to work that out but that won't be too much hassle. Okay so next um, is one of the demon princes from Forge World. I'll just grab that out and I'll be right back guys. I'm just going to have to reposition my camera because it's a little bit bigger this one. So bear with me guys. Sorry about that guys. Next one is Mammon. The Nurgle demon prince from Forge World and his little herald. Now I haven't done much to the herald at the moment. You can see he's still on his, his uh, block. Um, I'm about halfway through doing this guy up at the moment. Let me just get that to focus in. And I have to admit, without a shadow of, the doubt, of a doubt, the best Demon Prince model I've ever worked on. Um, this thing is just absolutely incredibly detailed. Uh, now, in terms of Nurgle, again, just just screams it. Just absolutely screams it. Now, I don't know if you're sort of aware of this guy's backstory as fluff, but... He was essentially, um, I think he was like a governor, um, a planetary governor, and took, went over to the forces of chaos, gave in, and became a demon prince for, I think it was a playing a part in Vrax. I'm not sure, I would have to read that up. Um, but this is what he was blessed with. Um, it's it's just just absolutely incredible i mean the detail in the face is just insane um all this sort of ripped flesh and and it, you you can just do anything with it you can make all the pus coming out with obviously the new technical paints from gw that work really really well with this model sort of is is rusty sort of barrels here which at the moment i've only done the paintwork on these so there will be some sort of weathering powders and things going on these as well um He's got sort of ragged cloths hanging off him. He's, he's, he's got sort of rusty split up old toenails, which are sort of just disgusting, just disgusting. All his flesh is falling away. He's got this big club hand. And you've got around here, obviously, all, all his sort of bum cheeks are ripping apart. 
this tank of ooze which is really cool it's got these little uh, nurglings bathing away in in this little tank of ooze that's spilling over the edge which is what's feeding his gun it's just an absolutely insane model now that's what i've got on the table at the model uh, at the moment guys um these three ones i am also working on a mauler fiend but you've no doubt all already seen those so i won't won't need to get that out for the time being uh, i'll show you that when it's done um absolutely brilliant models again from forge world all ones that you've probably seen before just wanted to catch you up on what i was doing um so that's it for this video guys just wanted to catch you up on on the table i'll come back with another video shortly and show you some of the new products that i've got some of the stuff that um, i'm opening up and stuff that i'll be working on very shortly um see you in the next one guys thanks for watching bye